Good morning, family. Welcome to Man Up. Pastor Kenneth Riolan here. Uh, happy to, to join you on today, be with you for just a moment. Uh, I want to talk for a moment from the thought evidence. Evidence. So, um, I, I awakened this morning uh, to the reality that racism and systemic racism and police brutality and uh, the assault on men and women that are black and brown are still alive and well in these United States of America. Riolan, why, why would you say that? Because I have evidence. I have evidence as uh, Richard Brooks uh, was mowed down this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, just for getting the best of a couple officers. Um, I've got evidence because there are too many of our Caucasian brothers that avoid arrest or dupe the police, and they are arrested but not murdered. I've got evidence that things are not equal when I think of not only Mr. Brooks, but George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery, and I could go on and on. I've got evidence that it's unfair. I've got evidence for why I'm afraid for my son and your son and your nephew and your brother to, to go out in these streets because it's not fair. I've got evidence as I listen to uh, an, an NFL superstar, DeAndre Hopkins, tell a story about being pulled over in Louisiana and and the unfair treatment he was given for having absolutely nothing in his car and having done nothing wrong. And then when he when he investigated it, it wasn't even reported and it could not be found anywhere in the system. I've got evidence that I've got reasons to be upset and angry. So what do you do in moments like these? What do you do? when you're frustrated. I, I, here I am, a preacher of the, of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and yet I find myself irritated and frustrated. But at the same time, I'm reminded of a sermon that, that at Paramount Baptist Church we played on yesterday uh, that I preached entitled, I've Got Evidence. And one of the first points in that sermon is sometimes it has to get bad before it gets better. It's the story of a woman whose son is sick unto death. And fortunately, because the prophet Elijah is in the building, things get better. But before they got better, they got bad. And I want to suggest to, us, to those of us this morning that are wrestling with the evidence that is in front of us to be reminded that sometimes it's got to get bad before it gets better. Sometimes you got to lose your job before you find your career. Sometimes you got to lose your zero before you find your hero. Sometimes you got to be sick before you find out that God is a healer. So in the midst of all of the evidence we have, I've got some other evidence. He's never left us nor forsaken us. Uh, he's, he's never let us down. And so let us be encouraged and trust in the Lord. With all our heart, lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. How can you hold on to hope past in these days? I've got evidence. God is on our side. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Wish you nothing but peace and blessings. Here at the Mount, we are one. Talk to you soon. Love you.